Good morning, Bikini Bottom. Um, hi. Here we are once again, um, rolling in a whole, what, eight minutes late? Something like that. Um, sorry about that. Yeah, I was kind of on the road this morning. Things uh, took a little bit longer than I thought they were going to, as per uh, usual. But here we are. Good morning. Good morning to everyone here today. It is a uh, Monday morning. It's um, kind of nice out, I guess, for now. We'll see how the day goes. But I have a task at hand today that I placed upon myself to do, and that is to make a tote bag. I have never made this. I probably should have started with something simpler in terms of the bag making world. But um, you see, what happened was, um, so like probably close to a year ago, I bought this kit, right? So it's a box. And it has all the materials that you need for one sewing project or bag making project. So I bought it, right? It was pricey, but I was like, I want to make a bag. But uh, the cool thing about these kits is where if you know nothing about different materials like um, freaking interfacing and hardware and all these things, if you just ran off with like a list of things I needed to buy, first of all, I'd probably buy the wrong thing. Second, I would probably buy way too much of it. So what's nice is that the kit comes with the exact amount that you need for one project. So I'm not stuck with like a roll of interfacing that I'm never going to use again for the rest of my life. So yes, that is what um, I'm going to take on that project today because I remember when I opened it the first time, I was like, this this too much, this too much. So I didn't um, do it and it's been sitting up on a shelf forever. I will show it to you guys in a minute. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys what we're doing today or attempting today because of course I'm not prepared, right? I haven't watched the video tutorial. I haven't even printed out the little patterns situ situation. Um, but we're going to just go for it because why not? Um, yes. Yeah, so let me address the people in the chat this morning. Hello. How you doing? Hey, Michelle. Good morning. Good morning, Sunday. Good morning, Juana. Hey, Alicia. Beth is here. Cindy, good morning, ma'am. How you doing? How's it going? Sally, Sally. Good morning, Sally. All right, let's see who else we got. We got Janie in the house, Miss Mary Warzak. I feel like I haven't seen you in a minute, Mary. When you going live again? You got to do a thing. Hey, Liz, what is going on? Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Esther, thanks for stopping by. Nancy, I see your eyeballs in the chat. Thanks for having me at your place. I spent this last week. If y'all didn't see the community updates, I did spend a week at Nancy's house in, in Georgia, down in the South. Yes, that was that was a whole thing. Hey, Miss Eve is here from the baby's booty. Thank you for showing some love. Hey, Fabulosis32. K is in the house. Chata's in the house. Everybody and their mama in the house. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, Pia, what's going on? Hey, Reese isn't down. Okay, you guys, I, yeah, I can't see. It doesn't show up on the stream yard. Hey. hey. Oh, my goodness. Let me mute this echoiness that I have going on here. Hello, Rochelle. Yes, thank you. It did go well. My trip went went uh, well. Thank you. Thank you. Hope I didn't miss, did I miss anybody here? Nicole is here. Martha, so many friends here this morning. Oh, my gosh, there's already 43 of you here. Oh, thank you, Eve. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for becoming a member. Yes. And I know if it's supposed to be like this. Um, just make sure it's not too tight for your hand. If it's too tight, take a finger out. Um, my kids are playing with those little catch, you know, those little disc catching games with the balls, where the ball sticks to the mitt thing. They can't. No, it's fine. Bye. I'm trying to do a live. Leave, children. I love you. Go away. I'm going to make a shirt that says, I love you, children. Now go away. Thank you so much, ma'am. I appreciate you. Hey, Trishina. Miss Ashley is here. Is the baby watching? Ashley, is the baby here? Baby. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, everyone. Joanne, Nairo. We have so many friends here. I don't want to take up too long uh, with all the introductions, but you know how we be. We always spend about 40 minutes doing who knows what before actual content happens. So this is that time. <laughs> so if you need to grab a snack, a beverage, if you need to empty out your bladder, this is the, the time before things get um, 
uh, complicated and frustrating. So I'm finishing up an iced cafe, hazelnut. Ah, yes, okay. The baby's here. Aha, yes. I would love that shirt. That shirt would sell. Yeah, for the kids. The kids one. Yeah, for sure. I love you. Now go away. Did you get my coffee? Girl, you don't drink coffee. I did, however, get you your large iced water. <laughs> right? See, I got a good memory for that kind of stuff. Okay. I don't know why, but my brain likes to pay attention to what other people like most of the time. I may not remember your name, but I will remember your coffee order. Hey, Ali, how's it going? How are you? Uh, ooh, you're going to go live for... I ooh, new toys. If you guys haven't subscribed to everyone, subscribe to literally everyone in the chat because they're cool people. Night, Obies. Thank you for being here. Hey, Chris. Leslie. I saw a Leslie here. And also, good morning to all the lurkers. Lisa. Lisa's here. Simply Sally, you're back. How are you doing? How no? How are you doing? I'm doing. Um, I'm here. I'm alive. I'm well. I made it back, right? Oh my gosh! Glad to see you didn't melt. Almost, almost. But thankfully, Miss Nancy had air conditioning. So, hallelujah. Yes, yes. Sipping water. I got your water, girl. I got you. I got you. Uh, all right. So I guess, uh, I will, I will bust that box out and see, because it seems like a, a simple project, right? Seems like it. It's a tote bag, which I could have done one of them little simple canvas tote bags as a beginner, but I saw the pattern back in the day. I don't even remember. I think it was from, how did I find out about this box place? It was, um, so y'all probably already know Jess Oakla Roots. She does a lot of bag making content. She's amazing. I think she featured this kit making company at one point. And again, this was like a year ago. Like the one I'm going to make is not even on the website anymore. Like you can't even buy it anymore. Um, yeah. But I was like, they said it was for beginners. So I was like, let me, let me get it because I had just bought Dingle Hopper, the sewing machine at that point. But it looked too hard, so I just let it sit forever. I didn't I did not eat all of your snacks. Okay, listen, ma'am, respectfully, respectfully. I bought most of my own snacks, and I at the very least went through most of my snacks before I started on your snacks. Uh, but yes, I did eat some of them. So hey, <laughs> there's that. Um, yes. Liz, let us see your shirt. The one I'm wearing right now, I didn't make this one, by the way, but I do like it. Cold like my soul. Ice coffee vibes. Ice coffee fam. I bought this. I bought this from somebody on the in on the internet. Um, yes, it feels like. Let me see. Ooh, it passes the stress the stretch test. So I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what it is. Oh, it's coming up a little bit. So I'm gonna guess either printable vinyl or something not super permanent, but still, I like it, so I got it. It was pretty cheap. Yes, oh my god, here she goes. Hey, good morning, good morning. Here she goes. But seriously, though, who turns down a bomb-ass steak for a Hot Pocket? You know what? If you're going to be throwing me under the bus today, <laughs> yes. Nancy, what part of Georgia are you? She's from the barely Georgia part of Georgia. She's on the Florida Georgia line. She way down south, all right? Uh, we lovingly call it the armpit of the United States. I'm sorry, please do not take offense to it. It's just way in a sweaty, warm, you know, where the air is 35% water. I was like, bro, I don't have gills, okay? I didn't know that I was supposed to pack gills to be able to live and breathe um, down there. All the secrets come out. <laughs> You know what? Okay, so, all right. So Nancy's like, I'm gonna make dinner. I'm gonna make some some bomb steaks. And I was like, you know what? I, you know, um, I'm actually kind of feeling a pizza pocket. So I, I did, I do admit to eating that. 
um, instead of steaks. But yeah, um, there's there's that. Hey, Sandy here. Sandy is finally back. I don't know if I'm supposed to share any information. Sandy was also on a trip and she's back home now. So thank you for joining us back in. Uh, oh, you're not even in the United States. Sorry. Thank you for joining us on our time zone ish area. <laughs> Welcome back to um, our side of the globe, if you will. She's in the Canada. Yes. So the box, the box. Um, let me bust out the box, which is somewhere. No, I already brought it down from there. I brought it down from there. Okay. Let me show you the box. You'd be sad up here. Not much snacks, but we are in town and have places to go for me. Okay, so listen, I am aware. I am very aware that I am a snackaholic, right? So I, I feel that I was considerate. In that when I got to her town, I did not go straight to her house. I went to the nearest Walmart and I was like, let me, there's like a GIF on the internet where like somebody's shopping and they just have like an arm in the shelf pushing all the snacks into their cart. I legit stocked up. All right. I stocked up because I knew that I was going to be snacking snacks on snacks on snacks. So I bought some stuff uh, to prepare. So keep that in mind. I don't, I don't expect y'all to feed me. I can survive on cold chef boyardi um oatmeal cream pies and diet coke like i can live off that maybe throw in a few hot pockets throw in a few chippity chips and we'll call it a day open the box okay okay dang all right alicia dang it sheesh all right the box this is the box <laughs> Yes. See, at least, yes. I took an Uber from Jacksonville to her town and they dropped me off at the Walmart. Because I'm like, I'm not going to show up there and not have, I can't show up to a house empty handed. <laughs> she said, <laughs> Nancy, <laughs> Nancy, tell them just how cold I eat my Chef Boyardee, okay? Um, yeah, I, I love Chef Boyardee's spaghetti and meatballs. All right. I don't want no ravioli. All right. I don't want no ABC one, two, threes. I don't want anything else that they make. I just want Chef Boyardee's spaghetti and meatballs in a can and I want it cold. Like, I don't mean straight out the can from sitting on the counter. I mean, it's gotta be in the fridge. I want it, it needs to be spaghetti jello, okay? Spaghetti jello. <laughs> uh, I put the cans in the fridge. Botulism says, what? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? Sit down, y'all. Sit down. <laughs> oh, girl, no. <laughs> you. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> hey, Linda, how you doing today? Thank you for showing up. Oh, my gosh. You can tell folks who have kids from their diet. <laughs> oh, girl, yes. My kids, okay, listen, my kids eat it normal right they eat it they i heat it up for my children okay i'm not a monster all right <laughs> uh, I, I heat it up for the children but um not for myself i like it cold it's like if you love cold pizza then you understand maybe where i'm coming from it's something about the savoriness but also having it be cool it's just a different consistency because cold pizza and hot pizza are two different foods in my book. And I like them both, but it's similar to the, uh... <laughs> no, I'm going to lose half my viewers right now. All like all the subscriptions are going to go down all because of cold chef Boyardee. Um, anyway, <laughs> y'all are haters. Dang. I'm playing. I know y'all playing. I couldn't do it cold. Yeah. Small microwavable. <laughs> you don't know how I feel right now. 
<laughs> okay, I understand. I understand. I knew this day would come. I knew this day would come. I've been telling y'all from the start. Okay, y'all know I've been saying it from the start. I'm not sure why you guys are subscribed to me, why y'all are here. I'm a weird person, okay? <laughs> I don't understand, but thank you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right? The aftertaste. I love it. Y'all are weird. With just that slight, you know, um, metallic taste. You know, you got to get the minerals in. I'm saying. Eh, right? Thank you. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> and somehow the viewers just went up to 50. Everybody wants to see the freak now. Hey, no judgment. I know. Yes, congealed fake spaghetti sauce. Yes. Yes. It is a spaghetti flavored coagulate substance if you will. <laughs> we still love you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I'm hungry. Shit. I mean, shoot. Oh, anyway, I think it's time to open the box. What do y'all think? Yeah, we still love you, but that sucks. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. Again, it's been what? 16 minutes of pure nonsense, but yes, here we are. Yeah. I don't like um, too many veggies. I like potatoes, but those are more of a, a root. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was it the coagulate that got you? Coagulated pasta flavored um mystery substance? I just think it's yeah, it's spaghetti jello. <laughs> Open the box. <laughs> uh, Lisa sent a message. She's here in she's here in spirit watching McCancha. I got you. I got you, Lisa. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you in the September, hopefully. I got to make that happen. Moving on. <sighs> Moving on. Yes, I will open the box. But I do plan on making, I'm going to make myself a shirt. You know how they have like the favorite things type shirts? But I'm going to make favorite things shirt with my favorites. It's going to be Chef Boyardee, Diet Coke, Oatmeal Cream Pies, Reese's, you know, all my favorite things going to be on that, on that shirt. <laughs> We'll throw in some tacos, some wings. Okay, so this is from, it's called Two Sisters Textiles. I believe I put a link in the description to their shop. And again, they are just, um, they are a company. They sell fabrics and stuff too, but they have um, these kits where they include everything you need to make a bag. They're kind of pricey though. You know, I'm, not, I'm just letting you know where I got it, just in case. This one that I'm making is no longer on the site, um, but they have cool other options for from different, uh, difficulties, beginner, intermediate, hard. This is a beginner. All right. That's right. Keep me on track. Thank you so much, Juana. Yes, I appreciate y'all. So we're going to go ahead and open this box. Okay. It came with this sheet and it has just, it's basically a packing list. It has all the, um, it has the list of materials and stuff. Some of this stuff like Decaville, these are things I've never heard of in my life. I wouldn't have known where to buy it. You good? These children's are over here. Oh, here we go. I can't see. What's in the box? Yeah. Okay. So it comes with stuff and things. How hard? <laughs> It varies from, um, never mind. Never mind. Let me move on. Let's not. Don't forget the Reese's. Oh, thank you for sharing the link. Thank you. Yeah. Anyways, I need to move myself. So it has like a little photo snapshot of different things that are up in there. Cool. Liliana Grace, yes. move, move along, please. Your interruptions are going to cause me... To have an anxiety attack on live national television. What's an exciting attack on live? What's an exciting attack? <laughs> an exciting attack <laughs> is where I go crazy because you guys are stressing me out. Okay, this is my time. Don't make me close the door because it's hot. I don't want to close the door. Okay. okay. Thank you, ma'am. Oh my God, the children's. I love you, but leave. All right. So it. Uh, 
I do love you. Go away. This is not the time to argue. We'll, we'll hash it out in family therapy. Go away. All right. So it's not focusing. It's not focusing. It's not focusing. It's hard to read anyway. But it's got interfacing, Decaville, fleece interfacing, more Decaville, exterior cotton, lining fabric, hardware, and stuff and things. <laughs> Yes. Okay, cool. So there's a lot of stuff in here. And I think, I believe on the instructionals, there's a page that I'm supposed to print out so I can label, like attach the little labels to each of the fabric -y things. Because I don't know what they are. <laughs> right? <laughs> the grumpy old troll who lives under the bridge. Miss Nancy gonna get you if you guys don't leave me alone. And they're still yelling across the room. Don't yell from the bathroom. Do your business and get out. It's too early for the nonsense. I can't. <laughs> yep. Uh, Auntie Nancy is going to be, that's like, it's going to be a horror film. Auntie Nancy. <laughs> Family what? <laughs> Family therapy. Uh, oh my gosh yeah i love you please leave me alone <laughs> i i mean it'd be like that i used to do it really late when they were asleep but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and they're starting to be old enough where most of the time they stay out of my face but i mean it's still a struggle Yep, potty talk activated. Yep. <laughs> All right, cool. So I think I need to now, um, I'll take everything out. I'm afraid to take everything out because I feel like it's going to be, get all messed up. I want to label everything. Oh, man. I'm nervous about all this stuff that's, interfacing is the same color as Decaville Light, which is the same color as the fleece interfacing. But fleece, I feel like I can tell what it is because it feels like, um, I don't know. Oh, fleece interfacing. Yes. So it's this fuzzy stuff. It feels like uh, felt. <laughs> yeah, the fabric combo is really nice. Yeah, hopefully. So it's supposed to be. Yeah, these are the coordinating situations. Um, nails on fleek. So I switched them out. Now I just, I went for, we went for Barbie hot pink nails because it's, it's summer. So why not? Shout out to Sandy, Color Street Nails, y'all. And then I have a minty one that I'll do next. And I have some fall colors that I'll save for uh, the fall, maybe. But, excuse me. But yes, it should be nice. We've got this uh, set up a print. We've got a nice coordinating bright green. It's, it doesn't look right. Everything looks muted on the camera, but this is a lot brighter in person, as are my nails. My nails are a lot brighter. It's like a legit, like Barbie convertible pink nails. And then this is more of a lime-ish green. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh. <laughs> Leave me alone, Nancy. Nancy Pice. <laughs> okay, cool. So there's that. Those are easy to not confuse, so I don't mind taking those out. And then there's this situation ship, which SF101 interfacing, maybe, maybe, or Decaville light. I don't know what Decaville feels like. We have, this is that soft, I'm assuming this is the fleece interfacing. And then, uh, there's all these things, which I'm assuming are, I don't know what this is, Decaville and Decaville light. So fleece, and I think this is just a regular interfacing, I guess. I don't know. Oh, it comes with a pen. Stop. <laughs> My favorite part of the box is that it comes with a pen. Yeah, it's like a little fuzzy on it. Two sisters bag making kits. Okay, with a little stylus tip on the end. I see you. I see you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. 
No, you don't need company on the toilet. You need to do your business and get out, okay? Don't ask your sister for company. That's that's a bad idea. Y'all thought I was weird. My kids want company to do the business. So. Mm -mm. Yes, child. Can you, put on TV? you can put something on TV. You need a charger? <clears throat> Listen to me. If you lose the box from this cable, if you lose any part of this, you will be tarred and feathered and paraded through the streets. I don't it doesn't matter if you're a chicken or not. You will be tarred and feathered and paraded through the streets. I just don't want to lose all my feathers. Yes. So guard it with your life. Even if I die? Yes. Even if you die, guard it with your life. My kids. How would you get oh my about goodness. Sons and then your own daughter? Move along, little child's girl creature. Oh my goodness. If these people don't stop calling me. Oh man. We ain't even done anything. We literally haven't done anything yet. And these children are already acting like their mother. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> like, nah, you don't need to sit at the door. Mm -mm. I'm saying, these kids, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm glad somebody's laughing. All right, cool. So all these fabrics are in here. Now I need, oh, and it has um a little zippity zip. Um, okay. It has the zipper situation, but there's no, where's the little zipper thing? Oh, there it is. I was like, I need it. it the zipper ha doesn't have a zip. It does. It's right here. I have to attach this. Oh God. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm a little nervous cause I've never done a zipper in my entire life. What do you need? What do you need? What do you literally need? I do not know. I am on a live. Do not ask me anything again unless somebody is hurt, bleeding, or if the house is on fire. I would not know if the house is on fire. I'm very distracted. So, <clears throat> Monday freaking madness. I'm saying, Cynthia, Cynthia, come get these kids, Cynthia, Cynthia. Cynthia. Oh, hello, Tanita. Hi, guys. Hi, friends. Hi. Okay. Let me make the bag. I downloaded the things. I'm going to print off the instructionals. Where are you at? Downloads. Box is too large and in charge. All right, how many pages? 43 pages, dear Lord Almighty. Let me take a look at what I actually need. All right, there is an instructional video that I was supposed to watch but didn't. Open pattern file. I thought I did open the pattern file. Okay, supply list. I do need scissors, cutting mat, ruler, rotary cutter, wonder clips, pen, thread, iron, lighter and a hole punch hmm i also need a garbage bags duct tape a rug bleach luminol i'm kidding <laughs> latex gloves we're doing a whole thing All right i just need to get to the pages that are the actual pattern so that i can do that so far, these are all instructions. Thank you. Thank you. Where's the actual pattern? Complete pattern piece cutting chart. Ah, labels to attach to the stuff. 
Okay, I'll probably need labels. What page is this? Page 32. Where's my print button? Control. Print. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not looking at this particular moment. Let's print page 32, 43, 32. Hi. Sorry, all the cheese. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Is that the only page of labels? Let's go ahead and print page 32, 33, 34, 35. That's the actual pattern. So I guess we're printing 32 through through 43. Okay. 32 through 43. Control. Print. No, not the label printer. The regular printer. Let's do pages. 32 to 43. How many papers is that? How many trees is that? That's 12 pieces of paper. Ew. Yeah, there's probably 12 pieces of paper in there. Print. Do we need to do color? I mean, let's do it just in case. Color. Oh, print. <clears throat> okay. So it's printing. And um, I should be reading instructions at this time. Back to the chat. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Hi. I'm back to just remember. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> I mean... I mean, your children are wonderful, Nancy. They're fabulous children. But yes. <laughs> Respectfully. Res to be fair, I don't have a three-year-old, okay? I'm past that phase. And I can't imagine what my older kids would behave like if they had a three-year-old that they were always butting heads with, too. So, yes. My kids are past that stage. But I am thankful for my little peoples. Mm, <laughs> deep breaths, right? 40 pages, right? Three years later. I'm saying, I almost, listen, I almost switched this live to just do orders. Because I do have one bulk order um, for somebody's business that I got to do. But those are just HTV, left chest logos. Very easy, very boring. So I was like, let me just do this. Let me see how far I can get into the bag. All right. Please read all instructions before beginning. All 43 pages. <laughs> right? It sounds like a murder. I have been watching too much Dexter, man. Yes. So at least if I'm going to do something, I know how to do it correctly. Take all the precautions. Leave no DNA behind. You got to wear a hairnet and everything. This is going to be fun. I'm nervous, man, because I don't trust myself to follow all the directionals. Stopping in to say good morning. Watching from work today. May have to catch you on the replay. All right. Thank you, Annabelle. Appreciate you. Hey, what's up, Linda? What's going on? Right? I don't have a three-year-old or teenagers yet. We're right. We're in that nice, happy spot where they, they can most of the time wipe their own butts but they still are not apathetic about everything just quite yet. Good morning, Amber. How's it going? I'm going to try to make a bag. I'm probably going to suck at it, but that's okay. We're just going to we're just going to go for it and see what happens. It's going to be some kind of Frankenstein looking bag, I'm sure, because this is me we're talking about. So, I'll find a way to mess it up. But yes, right now I'm printing out 12 pieces of paper, which apparently we're going to need um, to make this bag making kit come to life. Again, these are our coordinating fabrics and materials that were sent with the thing. And of course, it once again will not focus. Focus. Where's Laura? I don't know. But that's the colors. It's going to be a thing. It's going to be a whole thing. 
Supposedly, it's for beginners. Yes, child. You got an ouchie on your nose? Is it bleeding? Then it does not qualify for the interruption. But I do love you, and I am sorry that you are hurt. But you may leave. Okay. And, of course, now we're out of paper. <laughs> your application to interrupt your mother has been denied. Mm -hmm. If it does not fall under the categories of bleeding, fire, or emergencies in the miscellaneous category, you may not interrupt your mother. Was that what was the other category? If you're not bleeding, if there's not a fire, and something else. I don't know. Tornado? I'm not sure. Natural disasters, perhaps. <laughs> Dismissed. <laughs> Right. All right. I got to put more paper in this machine. I can't even see where the tray is from all the stuff that's stacked up here. Hold on. Hold the phone. Please hold. All right. There we go. Okay. We good. Keep printing, please. Thank you all. Emergency, right? Barfing, hurt. There we go. Even barfing is questionable. As long as you made it in the appropriate location. Um, as long as the barf made it to the correct drop-off point, I'm playing. <laughs> if, they, if they throw up, I'll go check. But yeah, someone's hurt. If there's an emergency. Bleeding, burning, barfing. The three Bs. The ba 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 ba. If it's not a ba ba ba, I don't want to hear it. Okay, we have printed, print, printed, printed. All right, I got to readjust my whole verbiage. I need to remind myself that I live in Chicago because me spending a week in Georgia already already had me changing my my speech. All right. That's it's a toxic trait. I start to take on the speech habits of those around me. So, yes. So I usually say put that away. And by like the middle of the week, I was already telling the kids, hey, put that up. Because I guess in the South, instead of saying put it away, they say put it up. And to me, that was a weird phrase because I'm like, but why? Are there bears? Do we need to be keeping things out of reach of the bears? Um, no, that's just how they say to put it away is to put it up. And I was like starting to talk like that. And I was like, ma'am, you a Chicagoan. We do not say these things. We say, put that ish away. Okay, cool. So it has labels that I'm supposed to attach to... Um, I need to attach those to these different pieces that I cut out. So I'm just going to be here um, cutting things out and hanging out with y'all while I try to do this. I'll let you know if I start sewing or cutting something, I'll let you know what I'm doing, but I don't even know. I don't even know. Good day to you. Good day to you, Valerie. Or a bone sticking. Not a bone. <laughs> I mean, it falls under the bees. Keep out of reach of bears. Ah. <laughs> you grew up in Illinois. Yes. Oh, the snow. Right? I'm okay if it snows on Christmas. Maybe the day before, the day after. Even from, let's say it snows Christmas break. Okay? The whole Christmas break. Go ahead. Get your snow. But then, I don't want to see it. I don't want to drive on it. I don't want it in my socks. Okay, I don't want it anywhere around me. You know how they um they have those fake fireplaces or just like instead of a fireplace, some people will put like a wood burning loop video on. Like they need to make windows or I need to get windows that you can just turn on like the snow feature. And it's like, oh, look at the snow. Look at it falling. Look, there's Santa Claus flying across the window. But when you actually go outside, it's like 70 and breezy and sunny and nice. Well, not too sunny, though. Maybe overcast. Overcast would be fine. Because you could set a vibe. And if you didn't want to take the kids to the park, you could turn on like the storm. <laughs> no, <laughs> you can do 
put a store like a tornado on the window TV. Be like, oh, I'm so sorry, kids. I know we said we was gonna go to the park, but I mean, look at it. Look at it out there. That is not decent uh, park weather. What y'all talking about out there? Yeah, <laughs> put that up. Cut the what? Why would you cut the light? Why don't you just turn it off? <laughs> hey, coffee mom. Sounds like we have a lot in common. No snow. Yeah. What time are you right now? Two hours ahead of me? I think so, right? For me, it's 1048 a.m. So, yes, because I think Z is always two hours behind us. So I'm two hours in the future. And I'm telling you right now, it ain't that, it ain't that great. <laughs> Play. <laughs> Brainstorming ideas. I'm going to make it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be like, put this on your windows. And suddenly, you control the weather. It's like a mod for life. If you're a gamer, you know what mods are. I'm working, Eden. Don't worry about me. Also, that is an interruption and does not fall under the three Bs category. Yeah, 848 over there. Where I was, it was closed or open the light. Oh, is that how it translates in the Portuguese? I don't know. This paper said to cut all these things out, so I'm just cutting all these things out. I don't know if a bag's going to get made. I'm going to try. And again, this is me. Hey, that's what's up, Valerie. Gamer life. I aspire to be a gamer, but I can't commit. I get very uninterested very quickly. I cannot commit to the lifestyle. I like to sleep too much. And if people were playing interactive games, they'd be tired of me because I'd always be stopping for a snack. I'm already upset that my iced coffee is done. I don't understand how some of y'all can sip on the same drink, a.k.a. Nancy Blank. You can have the same iced coffee sitting on your desk all day, all the day long. And you still have coffee in there. And I walk through the door, take one sip, and my coffee's gone. It's just gone. Or I walk in the door with an empty cup, and I'm like, what? how did I just pay for an empty cup of coffee? I don't understand. Some kind of black magic. What are you working on? I have a bag making kit. It's a kit that it comes with all these things already portioned out. So it's almost like a, it's like a frozen dinner bag making kit. Eden, you are not a part of this live. Please play in your room. My message was not received. The text could not be sent. Something went wrong in the connection because she's just sitting there. I will move on. So I just cut out all these little pieces that are meant to label whatever pieces I cut out of the fabric. So I will set these aside. Uh -huh. All day cut babysitter. I don't know, Maria. I feel like the level will drop slightly behind my back. Guilty, right? I swear, I can't. My food just disappears on me, and it's not cool. I'm a slow coffee drinker. I just, I inhale it as if someone was going to take it from me. Anyways, okay, so now I got to put together this pattern, I guess. But I feel like I'm going in blind. Like, I should have watched the video. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to line this up. There is a one-inch test square. I know that you should always test the square. Oh, look, it's one inch. Okay, cool. It has been tested. I hope to do a serger bag soon. Ooh. Three cups of coffee. I'm excited to see what your toy is, um, Mary. What new thing did you get? Three cups and drinking Coke. <gasps> Why did you say Coke, woman? Why would you do this to me? Fast coffee drinker. 
because I don't like it cold. I like cold coffee. Listen, but the thing is, it doesn't matter if it's iced coffee or hot coffee. If it's iced coffee, I will drink the whole thing down in like three and a half seconds. And if it's hot coffee, I will also scarf it down in maybe four and a half seconds. I will burn my digestive system. I don't even care. Like it's just, it's gone. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Audrey. Yes, yes. Okay, so I need to exterior your body. I'm looking at this stuff and I don't know what I'm looking at. Also, I didn't check to see if I printed out all the options. What option am I doing? I'm telling y'all, I'm just going in blind here. Um, I should watch the instructional video. What is this for? This is for a recessed zipper panel, which I don't think I'm going to do. There's extras. This comes with extras. Let me, let me look up the instructionals. So I'm going to put you guys on half the screen over this side, and I'll put my instructions on the other side of the screen. I'm not going to share the pattern with you um, per user terms of use, I guess. There's a terms of use thing that's said that they do not want their pattern shown on the interweb, so I'm going to respect that and not show it. But let me take a look at it because I don't know what I'm doing. Oof. My fingers. My knuckles. Oh. Do I want to do the video? Special instructions. I have provided all the pattern, blah, 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 blah. Seam allowance is 3 eighths inches. So to me, 3 eighths inches means a little bit. That's my translation. For the non-mathematical mind, all right? You could tell me what you want your seam allowance to be, but honestly, I'm just going to pick a spot on the presser foot, and that's going to be my thing that I line everything up to. So just 3 eighths inches means a little bitty bit. I'm aware it's a centimeter, but like, I just kind of guesstimate. Patterns are just suggestions. Yes, that sounds good. <gasps> but... But how? Why? Hey, Barb. <laughs> like you ever watch an instructional video. Okay, listen, Linda. I mean, Sandy. Ma'am, ma'am. I will watch. I will watch it in that my eyes will see the video. Whether or not the information makes it all the way into the uh, the headquarters is another situation. You want a nice coffee, but don't want to leave right now, right? Ugh. Like I really want a Coke, but if I get up, I'm literally in the middle of a live, so that would be probably not recommended. Is the bag lined? I believe it is. I believe it is. You just gave up the Red Bulls, but they give you wings. Why would you give up wings? Literal wings. Oh, they're not literal. Never mind. Make sure you mark all items and read through your instructions. Follow them step by step. Personally, I would watch the video. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just really bad at following directions. I'm a little bit rebellious. Just line your needle up in the middle and your fabric on the edge of your presser foot. There we go. See, I'm saying, like, just I just use the presser foot and that'll that'll do. Thank you, ma'am. All right, so right now it's giving special instructions. It's going through abbreviations, wrong side, right side, seam allowance, blah, 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 blah. Double-sided tape. That was not on the list of needed things. Okay. Important things to note when working with cork, vinyl, faux leather, or leather. Never use pins. Be sure to use clips instead. Oh, good to know. Never leave clips on for an extended period as it may create an indentation. This is too much information. Tell me what to do. Please. <gasps> no. Okay, yeah. It said spray adhesive. I'm like, I don't have spray adhesive. Okay? They're going to get some Elmer's glue stick is what they're going to get. Because that's what we have in this homeschooling house. Okay. Fabri-Tac glue. Also don't have it. 
double-sided tape. Also don't have it. Rivet setting tool, negative. But otherwise we should be just fine. So let's keep going. <laughs> Special discounts, no thanks. Okay, so there's a design diagram. This represents cork or vinyl, which would be the bottom exterior side. I don't know. This is all Greek to me, honestly, but it's okay. <laughs> right? Just tell me what to do. Just tell me literally what to do. What color do I grab? And do I, how do I cut it? Preparation. Cut out and tape together the pattern pieces. Pieces that need to be taped together will be labeled with the same description. Piece one of two, piece two of two. On pattern pieces, and you would have been taping over the second piece. Let me put not overlap. Okay. <laughs> that was the fast forward version. All right. Let's start in order then. So we have piece one of four. Okay. I see what you're saying. Piece one of four, piece two of four. Piece three of four, piece four of four. Okay, so this is one thingity thing. This is the exterior body. Slip pocket, pleated pocket, interior body. Oh, you use the same thing for multiple pieces. Good to know. Good to know. I need to cut two of the blah, 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 blah. two of the blue, 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 blue. Okay, that makes sense. Sure, that's one set that I need to put together. And then and then what? Oh god, this is this is gonna be a this is gonna be a train wreck. Ah, oh my god. It looks like you came prepared. I'm saying I thought I had looked through this, but apparently not. I'm making a tote bag. It's a tote bag. All right. It's a tote bag. Now it's not the, it's not one of them simple canvas bags, which is what I should have started with. No, it's like a tote bag that has a bottom to it. It has the pockets on the side. It's got like a zipper pocket on the inside, I think, or like a zipper on the top and then the handles. <sighs> it's like a step up. Show me in pictures and done, right? I have none of the tools, but let's do it. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, what did you miss? Alicia, I don't have half of the things on the supply list. But yes, I've never come prepared. Honestly, sometimes I'm like, hi, guys, we're live. Let me take out my trash real quick and declutter my room before we can start the actual project. That's how it goes, right? Just log on and go. We're here. Hey, Laura. What up, Lolo? <laughs> I mean, we're an hour in, an hour in and have yet to 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 do anything. But anyways, we're hanging out while I attempt to while I attempt to attempt a bag. Piece one of two, piece two of two. Okay, that's another one I gotta put together. What is this? I need to know where the optional stuff is though. Exterior foam. Options for securing a liner. Okay, so I don't need the spray, I can just do a zigzag stitch. Ooh. But I have a ballpoint needle on my machine. Do I have to switch it out again for like the not ballpoint? Ugh, yuck. Piece one of two, piece two of two. Why we gotta cut so much stuff out? This is for the bag bottom. This is for the exterior pocket. Piece one of two, piece two of two. So those go together. So once I cut everything out, oh my God, this is going to be like a multi, this is going to have to be like a multi live project because today we're probably just going to like get all the patterns out, maybe start cutting pieces and labeling the pieces. I think that's what we're going to do because this is a lot, bro. Like I can't show you the pattern, but there's like so many different like parts that I need to, and then I have to cut multiple things out of the same thing. Oh, gosh. Okay. Zipper pocket. Okay. At least that's just the one piece. And then this is recessed zipper stabilizer. Are we doing a recessed zipper? Is this a thing? I don't know. 
I'll just leave that to the side for now. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna just hang out while I um I would use a sharp point needle if you have ah dang okay spray for embroidery would work that's a good that's a good idea Mary I might have to just use my basting spray if it if it does call for any kind of spray um yeah so I guess I'm gonna start cutting stuff out and taping it together I could do that here um yeah so we can hang out and do that I guess. But yeah, that's that's uh that's gonna be a good time. Cause this is a lot. This is a lot, and I know my kids are gonna get hungry in a little while. So okay, so I'm gonna put these sideways. This just needs to be cut out by itself, so I'll leave that to the back. I wish I could share more with you, but I cannot. Alas. I do not have permission to share the actual information with you. Um, this was, I was just gonna leave this to the side. Okay, so we'll start with this. Four pieces I need to put together. Use for taping. Okay, so I'm just lining them up but not overlapping. <sighs> what y'all doing today? Let me put the instructionals down for a minute. Put you guys back up all the way. You can spray where you might need the double-sided tape. Okay. Vinyl, I use sharks. Yes, switch it. Yes. Hello, hello, what's going on? They aren't that hard. We're going to see. We're going to see how hard they are. But yes, so I'm just going to cut stuff out and tape it together at this point. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a minute because we are not prepared. See, a prepared person would have read through all the... Things supply list, you know what I'm saying? They would have printed the pattern, cut and taped the pattern. They would have watched the instructional video so they would know what exactly is supposed to happen. I'm going to hit up that video once all of this is um, cut out, I guess. Just because, again, reading it on the thing is not super helpful sometimes. I need to watch the video. Just show me what you're doing so I could do it. So we're just going to be cutting. Cutting away at life. You can watch me cut, I guess. It's probably a better angle for cutting. But then it chops off my head. Oh, the struggle. I need like a crazy wide angle situation. I'm going to put this box over here somewhere. Maybe. Excuse me, Dingle Hoppa. I require space. This is in my way. Once I actually start cutting fabric, we'll move over to the work table. Oof. This is gonna fall. I require more space, Dingle Hopper. Please. Thank you. Hey, wait. So, let's see if you can at least look at my pretty colorful things here. Where's the yellow? Isn't there supposed to be some yellow up in here? Exterior vinyl. Does it not come with the exterior vinyl? Do you not? Mm. Hold the phone. Oh, it does. I was going to say, where's the yellow? Here's the yellow. So it comes with vinyl. It comes with that. It comes with this. And a bunch of interfacing things. Here's a little photo. Of the whatever McCall it's. Stay. Okay. That's the pretty box. So I will be over here. Working on an order at work. We'll be making French seam pillow. Oh, the French seam pillowcases. Those are pretty. I'm going to be making some HTV sublimation shirts for my son, Mario Sonic, among us. All the awesome things. 
I finished heat pressing DTF orders earlier. Ooh, it's getting hot, right? It's going to be hot with us too tomorrow. Yes. Videos! Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Reading and planning for my next live. Chilling. I like it. I like it a lot. Not prepared, you say? What? What? Yes, get it. Craft. I need to sign up for one of those at some point, but not yet. Not today. Yes, Carolyn. Just, just, yes. Glue stick. I'm saying, we got glue stick. Hashtag homeschool. At work. Still making stuff for the trip. Yay, I'll be in the back. Thank you. Almost finished with my big project, so that's where we're going. Get it, Nairo. I believe in you. I'm so excited. You on the clock. Mmm, girl. Hi. Ah, hello. Watching this. I hate sewing, but you did help me fix myself. Yay, cool. Thanks. Hello, hello to everybody. Thank you for being here. Yep. I'm going to just hang out and uh, cut out these pattern pieces, and we'll see. I mean, I can't be here all day. At some point, I'm going to have to go, but let's see what happens. So I guess life update or work business related update. As most of you know, most of my content and most of my business is sublimation related. All right. So, um, yes, I do the sublimation. I do still have a Cricut machine so I can do, I've done, I do decals. A lot of what I do is more local. And then I also, I have the Etsy shop. But I have put the Etsy shop on an indefinite vacation mode. Mm, yeah, I put it on vacay mode. Um, but Liz, why didn't you deactivate the listings instead? They say that that works better when you come back from the blah, 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 blah. I tried it both ways. I didn't see a difference, honestly. Um, I did the thing where you deactivate all your listings and then you activate them when you come back. It still took me forever to get back in the algorithm. I did the vacation mode thing and it it was the same. I did not notice any difference whatsoever. Both times my traffic did return so-so-ish. I do turn on ads when I come back from either way. And it just, yeah, it's almost like starting over, but um, I didn't notice a difference either way. So I found it much easier to just put it on vacation mode. But anyway, so the shop is on vacation mode because I need to get things in order. And I have found that doing these one at a time custom orders, it takes too much of my time. And uh, I'm not making enough profit to make it worth the time that it takes away from my family. So the shop is on vacay mode. I will still keep all of my machines. And I'm still taking local orders, all right? There's people that ask me for stuff locally. I have certain business relationships that I still have. Like um, there's a few small businesses I've done bulk orders for in the past. And every once in a while, they come back to get more. And so I am definitely keeping up those. Because those are the orders that make sense financially. If you're going to get one order from a difficult lady who wants 70,000 things incorporated into one shirt and you spend hours and hours going back and forth with a design on that lady just to make one shirt that you're maybe going to make $10 off of. Mm -mm. I would rather have a 30 minute consultation with a business owner, get what they want down and then crank out 40 shirts with the exact same thing on it. That way I can just, um, just like when I did those shirts for that hospital order with the DTFs, like just crank them out. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you. That'll be a hundred dollars. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. You know what I'm saying? Like that is worth my time. Not these little one-off orders. I will still do it for friends and family or when I want to, or for content more importantly, but I'm not about the little one-off dealing with all the customers all the time. It has taken the joy out of it, and I need my joy back. So I'm going to focus on the kids, focus on doing fun content that I want to do, right? I'm going to do this stuff. I will still, again, be available for bulk my bulk business people. 
but yeah, for the most part, and it might change. I'm just saying right now, this point in time, I need to get my life in order and find my happiness again because it was kind of gone there for a good bit. So we need to find things that spark joy per the KonMari method. Piece 104, piece 204. I am the slowest dang worker in my entire life that I've ever met in my entire life. Okay, but yes, right? It does take a lot of time. I'm saying, I feel you, I feel you. And I've been very blessed to be able to be monetized on YouTube. And I feel like I would rather spend time with you guys here on YouTube and have YouTube compensate me for it because you guys bring joy, first of all. Um, doing different things brings joy, new things, new challenges on here. Also, pretty much most of what's getting invested is just time. A few supplies here and there, yeah, but time. I can give you time if it's bringing me joy and I'm getting money back. You know, having to invest in different colors, different sizes, different styles, all the blanks, all the things, all the designs, all the... It's too much investment for very little return. Whereas on YouTube, I can use what I have, have fun, spend time with you guys, and still be compensated for it, you know what I'm saying? So I think I'm just going to lean into hanging out with you guys um, because it makes the most sense for right now. That's where I'm at. So if you're here just for sublimation content, there's still going to be sublimation. I'm still going to do projects. And what's nice is there's a lot of crossover right now. So if you're into embroidery, like I'm down for embroidering stuff that uses sublimated applique, you know, do the, all the custom things um, or mixed media, you know what I'm saying? Like sublimate part of it, embroider the other part, that kind of situation. Or even sublimating um, custom fabric for scrunchies or bows or whatever. I'm not getting rid of my machines. I'm not quitting certain crafts, but I'm going to use everything for things that I want to do. So that if, if I don't make any money off of it, at the very least, I'm enjoying myself. It's still a space for me to have time that is not kid related. Because I know we love our kids. We love our kids. We would not want it any other way, blah, blah, blah. But you need something that is yours. You need a space that is yours. You need something that is yours that is not kid-related to keep your sanity, to keep you challenged, you know, so that your brain doesn't just turn into mush and diapers, right? We are more than just snack dispensers and booty wipers, okay? There's more to life than what's in my diaper bag, right? So this is still going to be my thing. I'm still going to have the workroom and the crafts and the sublimation and the sewing and the embroidery and the crochet now and, and all the things. But there's less pressure to make it profitable, okay? I am no longer chasing, like Nancy was saying, chasing the sale no this is just for me and i realize that i'm very blessed that that's even an option i understand that some people are out there trying to survive right y'all trying to make money to feed these children right now that is not the case here um but i understand if that's not as easy for everyone to do as it is for me i do understand that but yeah, you got to do what makes sense. And if something hasn't worked for a year, it's probably not going to work for me or for you. So try something else. It doesn't mean you have to give up crafting, but maybe make your money and then do crafting on the side, at least for enjoyment or whatever. And I'm not trying to 
I'm not trying to make you give up, right? Because if you really want to do this, you can do it. But if it's not bringing you joy and it's not profitable, either change your strategy, change your pricing, or change what you're doing. Because, yeah, sometimes I don't know if it's fear of failure. I don't know if it's our pride, our stubbornness, perhaps. Let me close this. These kids are playing too loud. Because that's kind of what I struggled with, too. It's hard for me to, not anymore, but when I was thinking about this change, it was hard for me to come to terms with the fact that what I've been trying to do for a year did not work ish. But what I need to understand is that it was a learning process. Had I not done what I did, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know what needs to change in the future. I wouldn't know what brings me joy, what doesn't bring me joy. I wouldn't know what I'm good at, what I'm not good at. You know, there's a lot of skills were built during this time and developed during this time. So it was not a waste. It was not a failure, right? I, I got my sublimation skills up there. I learned a lot. And now I know. Hi, everybody. Hey, Petra, thanks for joining us today. I'm just cutting out um, a pattern for a bag making kit that I'm trying to do. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it all. I think because it's a lot of pieces, I might get as far as putting all these pattern pieces together, cutting it out, taping them up. Um, I don't know. We'll see if I can get to fabric cutting today, but I only have a certain amount of time because I have my kids obviously here. Piece one of two, piece two of two. Okay, I think this goes to that. Yeah, so I'm just trying to do what I can today. This might have to be a little bit of a series if I feel like um, I'm in over my head. But I wanted to get started on it. I wanted to get everything Get this box off of my shelf, open it up, and get going on it. Piece two of two. So, yeah. If you attempt something and it's not working, you need to make a change. All right? It doesn't mean you have to quit. And I don't necessarily consider my change a quit. Right. Just because I'm closing the shop temporarily does not mean I'm quitting. It means I'm pivoting. Pivot. Sometimes you got to pivot. Even if it's temporary, you got to do what works. You got to do what you got to do. And you could always try again later with a different plan, with a different mindset. Shift in direction. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Sally. Very much so. Yeah. But sometimes we be stubborn, aren't we? Especially, here's the thing. Okay. I know um, a few of you, it is so refreshing to see how your significant others are supportive and helpful in your business. And you guys are, you know, working together. Not everybody has that support. And I want to tell you that if you are out there without the support of your significant other or your family, I see you. I see you, I hear you, I feel you. So this whole time, if you're trying to work and you're trying to push and you're trying to prove not only to yourself, but to your family that you can do this and you realize that something's not working, it is that much harder to shift in direction or put a pin in certain things because you spent all this time trying to convince people that this is something that you can do, that you want to do. And then, you feel me? If you know, you know. I feel like if you know, you know. Where, yes, we don't owe anybody any explanations or not. But it's like when you've been trying to prove yourself and then things don't work the way you thought they were going to work. 
it stings. It stings to have to. It's the stubbornness and it's the pride, honestly, because it sucks when you have to say, you know what? This isn't working. I think if you know, you know. Yes. I see y'all. Because you don't want to hear the I told you so's. You don't want to hear the whatever's. But shoot. So it's very important, I feel like, if you need to make a shift, make a shift, but have a plan maybe at least for a certain amount of time because, again, shifting does not mean quitting. So when I decided that I was going to shut the shop down, you better believe that the conversation was not just, I'm going to shut the shop down. The conversation was, okay, well, what are you doing instead? So I feel like as long as I don't just sit down with my arms crossed, then the I told you sowers don't win. Okay? All right. Because basically, that was my fear, not fear, but holding me back from shutting down the shop for a, a good while was, I fought for this. And now I'm shutting it down. But it's, it's just a pivot. It's just a pivot. Do not sit on the bench, just pivot. So my conversation was not just, I'm shutting it down. My conversation was for now, instead, I'm going to focus in this direction. I'm going to focus on that direction and we're going to push for this. We're going to push for that instead. And um, yeah, my people were supportive of that. And I did not get any, I told you so's or anything like that. Where are the cups? Yeah. The disposables? Um, there should be disposables, the throwaway ones, the plastic ones, in the pantry. If they're not in the pantry, then we don't have any more and you got to use the regular ones. What do you need? The regular what? Regular cups. Okay. I might have to set them up with a snack in a little bit. But yes, y'all don't see me doing anything, but I'm over here cutting and I just realized that y'all don't even see me cutting. I'm just kind of talking at you guys. But I'm cutting, all right? We're almost done with the cutting part. Then I got to tape stuff. I might cut out some fabric. We're only, what, an hour and 17 minutes in? Please, that's chump change. How long have we been on a live before, guys? What's the longest we've been on a live? <laughs> Y'all will be just fine. Oh, okay, that goes together. Ooh, it's getting warm in here. See, these kids are so loud. They made me close the door, but I need to open it up again. Because it's hot. Guys, please don't be too loud. I need this door open. It's hot. <laughs> Let's look. Right? You got to try different stuff till you find what works. It's not a failure. It's it's knowledge gained. It's just, it's a maze, right? If you're running a maze and you run into a wall, you can't just keep bashing your head into the wall. You got to go back and find another path until you make it to the cheese. All right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. It's just, I don't know. I hate when people tell me what to do. It's like, let me, let me, let me figure it out. But that's a pride thing. That's just a me thing, probably. Yep. Oh, thank you, Sarah. You're very kind. But I mean, we've got each other. That's what it is. Sandy said it right there. We got each other. That's why this community is very important to me because everybody comes from different backgrounds. Yes, Sherry, very much so. Um, everyone enjoys different crafts. But in the end, we all kind of relate on a deeper level, it feels like. A lot of the people that I've met on this community have grown to be very, very close friends. And we relate on so many levels. So I love this community so much. I've had very few um, negative interactions with people in the crafting community. So for the most part, y'all are amazing. 
Okay. We're getting, we're getting, oh, nope, just kidding. I still have a couple stacks of things to cut. Yeah. Yeah. At least the thing, it's a very good idea that it comes with little labels so that once you cut out each piece, you can put a little label on it so you know what that piece was. Because, yeah, it's basically like you're numbering all the Ikea pieces. You know how, like, you buy the Ikea furniture and it all has letters and, and stuff on it? And you got to, like, attach the A to socket B. So I need to cut all these things out and then put the labels on them so that I know what the instructions are saying. But, yeah, that was deep. That was heavy. <laughs> Do we have anything else to talk about? Yep, it's a tug of war, girl. Yes. Talk to me, Sally. I've been there. People very close to me didn't believe. Mm, yes. Keep moving towards happiness. For sure. For sure. I let that part go. Mm, girl. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, my God. I know I'm stubborn, but, bro, when I tell you Nancy is stubborn, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <clears throat> You, ma'am, are a dork, but you're still my best friend. I love you. Any stress has to go. Very much so. For sure. For sure. Keep pushing. Yes. Very much so. See, I feel like y'all can't see what I'm doing. I'm trying to. I just look like I'm staring very intently at my keyboard or something. Whereas I'm actually like <laughs> cutting. <laughs> but if I point the camera down, then you guys get like the bottom of my nose only. Uh, yep. So there's that. No, I don't know. I'm not a girly girl, okay? But these like neon nails are giving me life. Like it's not, the camera does not do it justice. They look like a corally whatever. In real life, these are like neon Barbie convertible pink. Like, like I need sunglasses, kind of. But yes. All the notifications. Ooh, somebody's live. Who's live? Let me see. Let me see. Danny going to be live. Sewing Machines Plus is going to be live in 30 minutes. Cool. So, yes. Let's redirect this. Since my new focus is good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. No drama, mama. Ooh, Laura, I love Laura. Laura lives close to me. She's like an hour and a half away from me. We're going to hang out all the time. Like, all the time. She's so cool. Um, ooh, yours are neon, too. Stop it. Stop it. They're glow in the dark. That's freaking awesome. Awesome. Are they part of the 90s collection? No, actually, Sandy, these are not from that new 90s collection because um, the ones that came out that are supposedly 90s, they are 90s, but they say neon, but they're not neon enough. So these, I don't even remember what these are called, but they're not from the 90s collection. The 90s ones are 90s colors, but they're more of the pastel, like Saved by the Bell 90s. And uh, I wanted more like Lisa Frank, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But like, I feel like I would go, I should have worn all black because it would have been dope. Like black with like the neon, like maybe a more of a punk, punkish kind of vibe. I don't know. Thank you, Kay. <laughs> you found out in the pantry. <laughs> you discovered, you can use them on your house exploration videos. So Cindy has like, she has TikTok, right? And she has videos of discovering like all these new parts of her new house. And it's so funny. Like, it, it feels like a whole series of, like, exploring these secret um, secret rooms and secret passages and stuff. It feels like a um, Discovery Channel series. <laughs> I'm, like, waiting for the jump scares, like, some hobo to jump out of a secret room. Or discover, like, a, a closet to Narnia. Let me know when you find the wardrobe to Narnia, Cindy. Yeah, but I, yeah, I like them a lot. For sure. Right, you're Wisconsin, Milwaukee? Oh, shoot. Not me telling everybody personal information. You uh, in the in the northern 
state that starts with a W. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sunday. I apologize for that. I know some people don't like to share too much information because it's not safe. What kind of pieces are you cutting out? I think the shapes are basic rectangles. Cut two, cut the line, zipper tabs, two handles. Well, there's like a lot of interfacing and things, and I don't know. It's like a, it's not a basic so it's like a tote bag. It has a pocket, like those water bottle pockets on the outer ends. And then on the inside, there's like a pocket, open pockets and a zipper pocket. And there's like a main zipper. I've never made this kind of thing before. <laughs> Not the hobo. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Right? I'm saying, like, they should have gone all the way and done the whole cutout pieces. Like, it kind of isn't worth it. I'm kind of not, I would have preferred if, I would have even paid a little bit more if everything was just cut and labeled. And all I have to do is, like, sew it and put it together. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> She's ready. She's ready for the creepers. She's like, come on. Let's go. Cash me outside. How about that? Headed out to lunch. All right. I'll see you later, Miss Eve. Thank you for stopping by. Okay. What is this? Zipper cutout window. What? Cut one Craftex or Decoville. Mm. This is all the stuff that I don't know what it is, but we're going to learn today or tomorrow or whenever we finish this. So yeah, I think if anything, I'll get as far as cutting out the material and labeling them because I do, I need to watch the video. I need to watch the video. Um, cause I am, this is Greek. This ain't, this is ancient Greek to me. Oh, yeah. So on a lighter note, different types of content and video ideas that I want to put up. I know Miss Z has a tag that she is going to be posting soon. I'm not, I don't think she's posted it yet, but it's been a long time since the crafting community had a, one of those tags, you know, you tag each other and you do the challenge or whatever the thing. So Z is working on a tag. We're going to do that. Um, and then there is a quilt that I may or may not have started long ago with a particular friend um, that we need to do. Cut out window. Do I cut the window or do I not? Cut out window. Do I cut out the window? I think I cut out the window. We're being serenaded. Who's serenading? Is Brookie singing? Or who's serenading? Do, 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 so we can look forward to part two. I had double sided tape. Where? There's a zipper window, but I don't know if I'm supposed to cut it out. Am I supposed to cut it out? Am I supposed to cut out the whole? I can't show you guys anything. I'm not allowed. I'm going to leave it to the side for now. Okay. But anyway. Oh, no. They're watching. Um, they're watching videos. But usually, if she's on the toilet, she's singing. But she's not right now. Guys, can you lower the volume? Can you put the volume down? Okay. Thank you. It's videos. Ain't nobody singing. But, but yes. Nancy, we need to finish the quilts, please. At some point. I know you busy right now, right now, but like when you done busying, we need to finish the quilt. Oh, 
Um, not really, no. Why? What do you need? No, I'm just waiting. You're just waiting? No. Go play, babe. What am I going to do for lunch? <gasps> I don't like that. Are you just not going to finish it? Please don't stand in the doorway. Okay. Sheesh. Hovering. <laughs> Turn it down. My kid's stuff was too loud. I believe the zipper window is a rectangle with a triangle on each end and a line across the center. So there's actually another rectangle on the inside of this pattern. So I just don't know if I'm supposed to cut out. I assume I'm supposed to cut out the window. I don't, I don't know. Bye, Cynthia. Thanks for hanging out. Ooh. Asado. Mm, very cool. Very cool. I don't have any leftovers, I don't think. Oh, guys. Liliana. Yeah? If you're hungry, there should be, I think, like three pieces of pizza left in the fridge. But it's pepperoni. So y'all know what to do. Share it equally. At least they have something to snack on. Yes. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm going to get you, Nancy. Nancy, have you found any additional secret messages or no? <laughs> you probably won't for a while. They're not as obvious. There's maybe like one or two that are semi-obvious. And then the rest. I'm just going to not mention. Yes, Liliana? I want you to find. Huh? If you share it with your sister or at least offer her some. And use okay. a plate. Use a plate. Any kind of plate, but use a plate. <laughs> I found one in the vinyl drawer. Nice. That one was interesting. Let's see your progress. My progress is that I have cut out a plethora of all these pattern pieces that need to be taped together. So I have a, I have like three pages, three pieces left that I need to cut out and then I need to tape them together and then start cutting material and then label the material. And that'll be it for today. The actual sewing is going to have to happen on the next one. Once I make sure found one in the vinyl drawer, be right back. Okay. Hurry back Sandy bar. And one more. I can't remember. I have a list on my phone just in case I forget where I hit everything. Yep, I'm still cutting paper because I'm slow. I'll have to make this like a part one kind of situation ship. Isn't this fun? You guys get to watch me cut paper. Hey, 
Dang, 56 friends today. Any lurkers want to throw up an emoji? You don't have to start conversation, I promise. I will not reach out to you about your car's extended warranty. Throw up an emoji if you don't feel like talking to people, but you're here. <laughs> the boobies on the frog. Yeah, you found that. You found that when I was there. <laughs> Hey, there she is, planning with my soul. I see your emoji. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Just kidding. Uh, okay, just a few pages left, guys. I'm sorry I'm so slow. And then I'll uh, tape them and we'll start trying to make sense of the fabric. Beth, stop. I know you lurking, but you're not a lurker lurker. You're like a real... I've met you. I mean, yeah. That There needs to be a code for like, I'm here, but I also don't feel like engaging in conversation today. If you don't feel like peopling, that's perfectly fine. We'll just say, hey. Hey, Sonia. Yeah, you're good. You don't have to be all up in the chat. Just, you know, just show signs of life, if anything. Anybody ready for... Uh, anybody else super pumped for the next volume of The Stranger Things? Mm -hmm. No spoilers for people who haven't seen it. I am caught up. I am ready for July 1st. But, like, I be telling my friends, bro, text me when you're about to watch it so that we can all be in shock and awe together. I'm ready. It's been dope. If you're not a Stranger Things fan, what is your show? Because I need a list. I need to compose a new list. I need a list of shows. So what is your show? I'm not a. I'm not into. Um, let's see. I am. I'm into the drama. I, you know what? I'm into a lot of different things. So that's. I'm not even gonna. Just pop what your show is. That you think that I should watch. I like many different things. From reality to cooking competitions to dramas like Dexter to the crime shows to everything, anything. Honestly. Uh, sitcoms, if it's good, you know, if it's a, you know, I'm down for sitcoms too, but what's good? What's like good, good, like your bra, you know what I'm saying? Like there's shows that are like, oh yeah, I've seen that. And then there's shows that are like, have you seen this? And if not, why? You know, um, I want, I want those shows in a chat. Yes. Oh, girl. Simply Sally. Sally, girl. You have never seen any of it? Um, It's good. It's a good show. It's a good show. That's one of those. Bro. Bro. Get on it. Ready for it. Mm. Yes. You better text me, woman. Or excuse me. Let me say it in a way that Nancy will understand. Don't you dare text me. Don't do it. Don't you text me when you're about to watch that show. Don't. Mm -mm. Virgin River. Writing all these things down. I'm going to put it on my calendar. Notes. Virgin River. Yeah, that's all right, Chris. Reacher. Okay, let me write all these things down. There's a lot I haven't watched, apparently. Lurking, get ready for work, girl. Get to it. A lot of your shows are in German. I mean, if they're a really good show and they have subtitles, like, okay. <gasps> what? <laughs> She's like, oh. I can't tell her to do anything. I got to watch my language on here. Right? We need a hint, Mary. Use for taping. I need to cut faster. I'm a very slow cutter. 
if I could just cut patterns and tape patterns with the same speed that I drink my coffee. Ooh, candles. That's cool. <gasps> no subtitles. Oh, man. I just got to pay attention to facial expressions and body language then, I guess. Like a whole telenovela. It's like, mm, I don't know what they're saying, but they mad, mad. <laughs> Context is everything. Hey, Pauline, I see you. I'm just here cutting stuff out. And get a paper cut with all this stuff. Russian doll. Okay. Let me write it down. I only have three show suggestions. What is this? What is this? Google Translate the whole show? Shoot. Dang. The Sopranos. I haven't seen The Sopranos, actually. All right, what else we got? A lot of British and foreign language mysteries. Okay, okay. One of them is called to tort, which means crime scene. Okay, I see you. Let me write it down. To tort, German, no subtitles. I'm going to have to watch it just, just because I enjoy the challenge. One page left. Boardwalk Empire. Boardwalk Empire. Downton Abbey. I have not watched Downton Abbey. If there's drama, I could be down for it. <laughs> Downton. Downton Abbey. Oh. Zipper pocket. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of pieces for one tote bag. So much for beginner level, but maybe it is. Because, see, I feel like there's beginner level, and then there's me, who is probably like... Like, I'm still in the second trimester... Of craft development. I'm still in the fetal stages. I'm a crafting fetus. Still got a tail and everything. <laughs> ah, not the tail. Oh man, I really want Coke. And I really want the Chef Boyardee. But I can't go buy it at the store because if I walk into the store hungry, you know what happens. You already know. It'll be a debit card bloodbath. No survivors. Fetal craft development. <laughs> Why does that sound like a show? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm going to add it to the list of shows to watch. Fetal craft development. <laughs> A lot of anime. Oh, Bridgerton. Yeah, I haven't. I have not seen Bridgerton. Let me add it to the list. Bridgerton. 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 Yes, that. All right, y'all. All these pieces have been cut out. I feel like I'm playing a card game. 
Now I need to tape everything. Where's my tape? Where's the tape? Oh, tape. I saw it earlier today. Frolicking among all the clutter. Let me not use heat tape. <laughs> I seriously had the tape in my hand earlier today. And now begins the search for the scotch tape. Ooh, girl. I'm saying. Okay, so like, I'm trying to... I do want to do all the craft fun things right now for content. But also, I'm afraid that I will develop a fabric problem very easily, very quickly. Because sewing is my favorite right now. It is my favorite. I don't care what we're sewing, but we're sewing. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. I need to find the scotch tape. Also, I need to pee soon. So, I don't know if I should insert a pee break here. I have yet to record my intermission video. I'm about to knock this box over. Hold the phone. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you were scotch tape, where would you be? <sighs> Atypical. I'll write it down. Atypical. Oh, my tum tum. Royal Flush, Full House, <laughs> 21. Yep. All the cards. Yawn. So long. Potty, potty. Look behind the box. Oh, that's a shoot. Maria is thinking with her brain cells today. Maybe. It could be. I would not have thought to search behind the box. But no, it is not there. Um, let me stand up real quick. I really do have to pee. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. I'm going to pee, actually, and I'll be right back. Take five. Oh, also, I found the tape, but I'm gonna pee.
Is there a reason you're not eating with a plate at the table? Eat in Octavia. Eat at the table, please. Had to bust out the government name. Hello. How's it going? How's it going? Hi. Hi. I'm Liz. Um, y'all probably knew that. Yes. Oh, look at y'all conversating with each other. Look at y'all. Please hold. <laughs> Maria. Ah, yes. <laughs> it's the crafty statue. What? I would be on the floor hiding. Ah, uh, right. Is it the same one who took your green vinyl, Sally? I will never forget the missing vinyl. All right, everybody. We back. It took a minute. All right, let me take these things and then start cutting some things. That would be fun, right? Who's messaging me? Oh, it's a notification. Sewing Machines Plus is live. Yay, cool. So in case y'all are bored of me, apparently Sewing Machines Plus is also live. There is op you have options. You have options. You don't have to be here if you don't want to be here. Or you could just hang out. There we go. Piece two of two. Okay, this belongs to somebody. Tape to piece two. All right, so I need to tape these guys together. We're going to do that real quick. Hopefully, I can tape faster than I can cut. Tape it real good. Okay, if the fan could blow at my face and not at the paper, that would be ideal. Let's get a big old strippy strip. Line it up. What are the dots for? Also for lining up? Okay. Tape piece together. Yes, I understand. I understand the assignment. Maybe. A little bit. Okay, cool. Taped it. One piece of tape. I'm going to set it on the cutting table. This goes by itself. Also goes to the cutting table. <laughs> no! I left a Hot Pocket. No! And I was looking for something to eat towards the end there, too. Dang it. Can you priority it to me? I could use that Hot Pocket right now. Priority mail that Hot Pocket. All right. We're taping exterior pocket. See, so many pockets. This is too much. This too much. Tape piece one to piece two. Yes, that makes sense. Tape it real good. <gasps> Why? Why would you shift right when I taped you down? Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't like that. Mm -mm. This stuff is shifting on me. And y'all can't. Oh, I can't show you. See, this is a difficult thing, man. I cannot show you because the rules or terms of use for this particular pattern request that I do not show anything pattern related on the on the YouTube. Don't do it. So yes. I can share the the people who make the kits with you, but the pattern itself I'm not supposed to show. So I'm trying to follow the rules and not show the pattern, even though it's not for sale anymore. But I mean, never mind. No more words. Piece one of two, piece two of two. This is the exterior pocket. Cool. There you go. You just see in uh Random pieces of paper. Tape one to tape. This is by itself. Interior top side. What? I don't know. We cut it out. We're going to put it over there. This is exterior side, interior side, fold at red dash line. What? 
maybe the instructions will be more helpful in the future. I have a bunch of sublimation stuff to play with from Amazon. Yes! Uber the hot pocket. Uber. Not the Uber. So I, I lost faith in Uber, okay? Because Uber was supposed to take me from the airport to Nancy's house. They canceled on me three times because they didn't want to drive that far. I'm like, but, but how am I supposed to get there? I ended up risking my life paying a rando. Not really a rando. It was an Uber person, but... They're like, I will cancel, but if you pay me directly, I'll take you. Yeah. So I did that, and uh, I didn't die. I didn't die. So, but yeah, I'd rather not do that next time. Piece four of four. No, this is a big piece. This is a big thingity thing. Let's tape the first two pieces. Oh, I'm almost done. Cool. I have what? I have pieced together a 38-piece PDF pattern. Mama. That's a lot of pieces. Can I have a yeah. Can you do it yourself? Bye. Okay. You could have not been stubborn. I mean, that's a long drive, but thank you for taking me back to the airport on the way back, though. I didn't want you to have to drive the kids around that long. Tape to piece one. Here we go. Okay. Let me finish taping this. Almost. We are almost finished. Maybe. Probably. There we go. <laughs> ah, yeah. I figured. That's why I didn't tell anybody till after the fact. At that point, I was like, I just need somebody to get me where I need to go. But, yeah. I didn't think it was going to be that far from her house. Please hold. Really couldn't do that. Take it back to the kitchen table. Out uh, where? No. I would like you to take it to the to the kitchen table with the lid. Serve yourself what you're gonna eat and then put it away. Do not drop that container full of watermelon, child. Ugh. I'm like, go serve yourself a snack at the kitchen table. And they're like, I'm going to serve myself here on some rickety area that is uneven and probably going to cause an accident. Tape to piece two. I'm like, no, ma'am, you are not. You could take that to the uh, appropriate location. <laughs> nice, Mary. It'll be worth it. What's today, Monday? It's Monday around noonish. So I do have an order, as I mentioned before, but I'm not going to start yet because apparently um, it's a dude who sends me stuff and I just put his logo on it for him. And I only do that for him because he's one of the very first um, customers I had back when I first got like the Cricut machine and all that. Hey, fix us. <sighs> What in the South is that? 
Hey, what's up, Lel? L, hi. Um, yes, y'all say fix a snack, and it's that's fine. That is a it's that's got to be a southernism, again, just like putting stuff up. It's fine. It's fine. You gonna fix a snack with all that stuff you've put in your buggy? <laughs> Not the buggy. <laughs> Why are you fixing it if it ain't broken, though? All right. Use for taping. Use for taping. Okay, cool. So I think this is like the main situation. I need to trim this a little bit. <laughs> hey, settle. What y'all doing down there? My dogs are acting a fool. This needs to fit right. We say put stuff up. Like summer clothes are put up for winter and so. But like at, at Nancy's house, they say put up for literally anything. Like to put away anything. Like if the kids took out a toy and they need to put it away, they need to put it up. I mean, I know it makes sense to y'all, but. I was like, well, why up? Why has it got to be up? The only logical explanation is to keep it out of reach of bears. But I didn't see any bears in Georgia. So I was come puzzled. Liz, your feet are barking, right? Pretty much. My little rat dogs. Yes, if you were not aware, almost any time that I'm here, the dogs are sleeping by my feet underneath this desk. They sleep a lot. Nobody's right? That's what I'm saying. You don't say fixing to eat? Kind of worse? Nope. <laughs> nope. Maybe Shine does, but I don't. <laughs> All right, I'm almost done taping all this stuff. 47 friends are still here listening to my nonsensical buffoonery. All right. So there's stuff on here that I don't understand. But, I don't know. This is like the main situation. Rectangle for exterior body. Slip pocket. Pleated pocket. Interior body. Uh, okay. So I'm supposed to cut two of these out of fabric, two of these out of the woven interfacing, two of these out of the Decaville light, and two headliner foam. What is the headliner foam? I don't know what headliner foam is. And then cut one out of the contrasting fabric, one out of the woven interfacing. And then, oh my goodness, I need to cut a lot of things with this. So I'm guessing it's the first thing I need to cut. <laughs> uh, pick up your room. It's too heavy. Now, pick up is different than put up. Okay. So pick up your room still sounds familiar, but to put it up is different. Now, if someone said to put up your room, I'd be like, like a loft situation or, you know, like, but yeah, pick up is different than put up. Yeah. Yep. All right, so I did all these. I still feel like I'm supposed to cut out the window. Cut out window. For the zipper, cut one craft or decoville heavy, blah, 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 I'll uh, leave that for last, but I think I'm just going to cut the window out. Mm-hmm, right? You just, some, man, back in the day, you just had to think something that was, had a little bit of sass. 
and you got smacked before you even open your mouth before you could breathe the idea of a phrase it was smacked right out your mouth okay all right i guess it's time to start cutting things Ew. oh guys we've been here for two hours i'm afraid i'm gonna cut out um some of this stuff with this piece and label them and maybe leave it at that because i don't know what i'm doing all right let me get my labels let me get my clippies i'm just gonna use sewing clips i guess i need one of those magnets on my machine i'm trying to put these these are what i use to tuck the tails for my serger these little big hole needle things um but at nancy's house she has a magnet on her machine so she just like magnets her little snippies and her little stuff there i need to do this i like that idea because your stuff's always where you need it okay i'm gonna use these clippies and i guess are we relocating temporarily we used to get it for saying what <laughs> dang no don't blow away my labels all right i guess we're relocating guys This is the part of the show where if you're dizzy, close your eyeballs. In three, two, one, we flying. We're going on a trip. In our favorite rocket ship. Singing all the trademark songs. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's too high up. Ugh. Y'all ain't got to see all the mess. I have a stack of fabric. See? Okay. We have already developed a fabric problem. Okay? Rib knit. Fabric. 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 It has begun. Okay. So I think that'll be good. Ah! You can't see the names of the things. I'm not supposed to show you the names of the things. So this is going to be highly difficult to do. <laughs> We're supposed to have a code word. Y'all ain't code wording me. Hold on. Close your ojos. Tomorrow is the first day of summer. Y'all get it. Okay, so I'm going to use my clippies for the labels. And let me see. So I'm supposed to cut out for the exterior body two of these out of the main fabric uh, okay yeah so I'm gonna cut two of these things out of the main fabric let me get the main fabric labels are gonna go over there all this stuff's gonna go over here out of the way rescue fabric <laughs> right um oh okay it's all labeled here too in the kit so exterior body right that's what we're doing two of these all right, we're going to cut a little bit more. We'll see how far we get. Liz, lift that camera. We don't want you to get in trouble. But then you can't see what I'm doing, which is stupid. I'm just going to do this live. And what happens with Goonie Goo Is the code word? No, the code word was supposed to be... Uh, I think it was Duck Duck Goose. Like, if you're showing something you're not supposed to show, say, duck, duck, goose. And then I'd be like, what? What is it? I like this fabric. It's a party. Okay. It's so very nice. It's a nice one. So very, very nice. And then, did I want it to go horizontally or vertically? I think we went horizontally. 
I better cut this right. Okay, so I need how many of these? Two of these? Two. So, I mean, I guess I'll just fold it over. What? What do you want? No, it's TikTok. Let's not, let us not be consumed with TikTok at this particular moment. So if I need two of them, I should just fold it, right? How do I do this without using too much fabric? I need two of you. I really hope I'm not messing this up, yo. It's supposed to have enough for everything. You'd fold it, right, just to get it done faster? That's a goose. <laughs> Ooh, I want my hot pocket, Nancy. Everything's fine. Oh, let me just knock some things over. Let me use my terrible rotary cutter, but I am blessed. Hashtag blessed. Let me just do it. Is this lined up right on this side? I don't know. We're just going to cut it. And uh, our weight for today is going to be the peroxide bottle. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot I was going to steal Nancy's rotary cutter when I left. She got lucky. actually cut that'd be great that'd be fantastic I'd be so appreciative you could just cut the cut the stuff Guys, your tablet's still too loud. Hey, it's too loud. Okay. What y'all doing over there? Ooh, pulled pork sandwich. Just go to the store and buy some more. It's cheaper. But I'm hungry, though. <laughs> Who needs fingers, Chris? Fingers are optional. 
<laughs> All right. So I've got those guys cut. Right? Hey, we have fabric. Cool. So I need to label these guys, perhaps. What's your name? What's your number? Slip pocket, recess zipper panel, exterior, side pocket. No. How about just exterior? Strap. <laughs> Interior body. Exterior body. Oh, I got to clip all this together. So two fabric, two woven interfacing. So I got to do the same thing to a couple more things. Okay. Please, interfacing. Uh, I don't see anything that says headliner foam. What the heck is headliner foam? Oh, headliner foam. Something bit my foot. You know. I don't know what headliner foam is. Did I get any? I don't know what this is. All right. Well, I don't know what headliner foam is, but this seems to be the woven interfacing. So we're going to cut out of that, apparently. If y'all know what headliner foam is, please let me know. Let's put this away because I'm sure we're going to need it again. Did it come with some kind of foamy material? Oh, you got to go. Okay. All right. Have a good afternoon. The thick stuff. Decoville. I mean, maybe because it says I need two of the headliner foam and then I need two of Decoville light. So would headliner foam be the regular Decoville? Maybe. The non-light. The thick stuff. Oh. Maybe. Let's do this woven interfacing first, I guess. I need two of these suckers. Oh, there's a lot of this. Oh. It's almost it almost feels like heat and bonded. Cause like one side is regular and the other side is like Bumpy. Interesting. I guess. Oh, there's a lot of it. Shoot. Okay. I guess.
that's the glue. Okay. Decaville regular should be thick. It keeps the bag standing up. Oh. Cool. All right. So let's cut this first, and then we shall determine what the thick thick is. The thickety thick. All right, so we have two of the woven interfacings ready to go. That's also a southernism. We've got the two main fabrics. Set those all aside together. So next would be the Decaville and the headliner foam or whatever. Decaville light and headliner foam. Let me fold all this up again. See, there's no way I would know what this is in a store. I'd be like, it's that white bumpy fabric. Evil eye. Easy with those. Is the interfacing iron on? I mean, it feels bumpy. I don't know. Probably. All right, so now we're going to determine what the thickety thick is. So there's vinyl, there's this stuff, there's what else we got? Here? Okay, yeah, yeah, this time I'm a cute and and kid okay? We got that okay. stuff, whatever that is. Okay. Okay. Okay, but for your something. Vinyl is not it. That's yeah. just vinyl. Yeah. Um, fabric. That part. What did you do? Wash your And then. There's that and there's that. So I don't know. This just feels like a thicker version of this. But that doesn't make sense. It came with a roll of whatever this is. And then it came with these two strips. But I can't cut a whole rectangle out of that. And then this, I would assume, is the fleeced, the fleece um, stuff. So hold on. Hmm. Mama. Yes, Eden. Did you buy the batteries? No, I haven't been in the store. Mama. What? You didn't tell me about that little baby trash can. She used to have it in her room. What are you talking about? Well, she did used to have it. Mama. What? Mama, do you use that little... Mama. She does. Oh, my goodness. How can I help you? Can you use that little baby trash 
trash can for the leftovers you don't need. Yes. Uh, also, in my bed. I will suffer in heat because these children are not letting me be. So that I don't see any other material. Headliner foam. Is that something that maybe I was supposed to get on my own? I don't know what kind of foam y'all talking about because there's this. Let me untake this sucker. There's this, right? And uh, it's it's kind of thick. Where's that picture? Hold on. So it says we have interfacing. This roll is the Decoville light. Then there's the fleece interfacing, which is this fuzzy stuff. And then there's regular Decoville, which I'm assuming are these two strips. But I don't understand exterior body. What is headliner foam? I must consult the instructionals. Ugh, come back with me. The camera's gonna move, guys. Ready? Close your eyeballs. Because, I mean, aside from the accent fabric and main fabric, there is no other material in that box. That's the vinyl, the woven, the fabric, the accent fabric. That's all it is. They say on Google, it's a thin foam meant for headliners and such in cars. I think that the rectangles is the regular. I bet you can use batting if you have some. Right? But... Uh, let me consult the instruction. See, it would help if you just use the same name for things throughout the entire instructions. So it wants cork or vinyl. We have vinyl. Are you referring to the vinyl? Is that what they're referring to? For securing foam. <sighs> See, we have hit our first bump in the road. No, because I'm supposed to cut cork or vinyl out of something else, I think. Headliner. What the heck is that? Headliner foam. Did you put it under tissue paper? No, there's nothing under the tissue paper. That's it. That is all there is. There's vinyl, woven interfacing, fabric, accent fabric, zipper, hardware. On the other table, we have the fleece interfacing, the Decoville light, two strips of the regular Decoville. And that's all. That is it. That is it. It doesn't look too thick. Uh, okay. It's not on the supply list. Supply list is cork or vinyl, which I have. What is Craft Tex? Craft Tex. 
Is that what it is? Yeah, prob probably, Maria, but it wants me to cut a whole big rectangle out of something called headliner foam. So obviously those two little strips aren't it. So let me see what would craft text be for. Because it says you need cork or vinyl, which is separate fabric, contrasting fabric, woven interfacing, foam. Okay, so I don't know if they thought they put foam in here, but they did not. Let me take a look. So in their little packing sheet situation, they put exterior materials, vinyl, cotton, interfacings. They did not put foam in here. Ah, right, that's why there's 43 pages wonder if it's optional. It doesn't appear to be that they just assume I have it. The whole point of the box, right, is so that you can have all the materials that you need. So they gave me the main fabric. They gave me the vinyl. They gave me contrasting fabric. They gave me regular interfacing. They gave me fleece. They gave me Decoville light, Decoville heavy and hardware. They did not, however, give me foam. Look back to unboxing large soft square. There's no, there's no, the large soft thing is the fleece. That's fleece. specifically says foam. Is it done? Is it done? <laughs> I'm missing a material. I thought maybe you thought it was part of the packaging. There was just tissue paper. I took the tissue paper out. That's it. I feel like they forgot to give me something. There's nothing else here. Let me look at the instructions to see. Foam only makes the bag stand up on its own. You don't need it to complete the bag. Gotcha. But I'm a little peeved that the box doesn't include everything. Hmm. Looking at the instructionals. Foam. I might have to look into it. It may not be 100% necessary, but I'm starting to get frustrated with it. We're about two and a half hours in. I think we will have to, um, I think part two will have to be the rest of it. So we did start cutting fabric, Alicia. We pieced together all the pattern thingies. I started cutting fabric. I cut interfacing, but it's asking for two big rectangles of something called headliner foam. And that is not on the packing list. It is not in the box. So I need to figure out what that is. I could skip it for now and just like highlight it so I know that I still need to get that before sewing it together. But the kids are getting hungry. 
I'm getting frustrated and hungry. So I think I'm going to leave this as part one. And uh, I shall return to continue the bag making endeavor. But at the very least, I got it out of the box. We got the, the pattern going. Some of the pieces cut. I don't know because there's other parts that ask for the fleece. So I'm going to double check it because I don't want to mess it up because it was an expensive kit. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. But yes. And Decoville is usually beige. You had light, the light rolled up. Yes. The light is the Decoville that was rolled up. That's the Decoville light. But it's also asking for headliner foam, which is different. Because the the parts that ask for the other kind of Decoville specifically say Decoville heavy. So that's not as different than the foam. I made progress. Yes, thank you. Cut the rest of the material and figure out what, what material is left. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I might do that next time. But I'm getting hungry, and I think that's kind of aggravating my brain at this point. So, yes. Ooh, you're going to be live. Everybody should go live. I did I did my, uh, my time. So, but yes, I will keep you all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my due diligence this time. I'm going to find out what else is left. I'm going to watch the videos so I can know how I'm supposed to do this so that next time will not be such a blabbering mess of a live but yeah it was nice to hang out with you guys it's nice to be back home after spending a great week uh with the bestie over in the georgia um yes so i will let you guys know either towards the end of the week or beginning next week because i got stuff to do if i come on live again i'll probably be doing that order for um a local business that i gotta do so i might come on and just get my order done because he's going to pick that up at the end of this week. So maybe, I don't know what day. Whenever you guys are not live, I'll get back on here. And um, whenever the rest of you are not live, I'll jump on to work on my actual order. And then maybe this I'll take on next week as a continuation. But I don't know. We're going to be doing lots of different things now. So. Thank you for being here with me and supporting me and giving me your feedback and ideas and support and everything. I appreciate you guys so very much. And I will catch you guys on the next time. So, okay, bye.